We are back with the travel alert as millions book their spring getaways. State Department has issued a new warning for the Bahamas. Victor Kendo has the story. This morning, a new warning as many Americans seek to trade frigid temperatures and snow for a tropical oasis. The State Department issuing a level two travel advisory for the Bahamas after reports of at least 18 murders in Nassau this year alone. Officials warning that gang crime is happening in both tourist and non-tourist areas, even in broad daylight. The victims, primarily locals. The State Department also urging travelers to be vigilant when staying at short-term vacation rental properties where private security companies do not have a presence. Jason Russell is a college sophomore going to the Bahamas with a group of friends for spring break. We were definitely thinking we should probably stay within the resort and our parents obviously a little concerned with the situation. Stephen Probst just arrived for vacation in the Bahamas yesterday. The Florida native says he'll still take the same precautions like he would for any trip. I don't carry any cash for as little as I can possibly. Um, I don't bring any jewelry with me. I don't bring anything that, uh, no computers or anything. It's basically getting out there and not having something that someone can steal. The travel warnings due to crime stretch across the West Indies, with level two advisories in both the Dominican Republic and Turks and Caicos. Tourists asked to reconsider travel to Jamaica altogether, where there is currently a level three advisory. If you do your homework beforehand and you learn what the problems are and where they are occurring, you can do some things to protect yourself and your family on your vacation. And with this new warning, you might be considering travel insurance, but it can be very tough to use. It has strict limits. Just make sure that you read the fine print before purchasing. Guys, okay, they can always read that fine print. Mm -hmm. That's right. What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Tuesday. Doing pretty good myself. Well, our island of tropical paradise is now plagued with murder. You understand? Murder, she wrote is what's going over in Jamaica and Funky Nassau. Back in the day, it was a song called Funky Nassau. I like that old song. But now, it's just terrible over there from what, you know, the news say. Jamaican travel warning issued after 65 murders in just four weeks, okay? The State Department issued a stark travel warning for another Caribbean nation Tuesday, cautioning that Jamaica has been blocked, excuse me, has been rocked by 65 murders this month. The U.S. Embassy in Jamaica upgraded the travel advisory to a level three, reconsider travel, okay? Which is just one level short of the most severe, which warns Americans against travel altogether, okay? Well, we know the people that's going over there, you know, it's like they're never satisfied at home, so they're going over places like the Caribbean, you know, and uh, those people over there are struggling as it is. And so when they see a certain demographic of people that comes over in places like that, they automatically think, well, they got money, you know, and a lot of times they do, you know, but um, that doesn't give them the right to just rob anybody either. But I'm going to say this, I'm going to throw this in the pot. Let's not think that the ones that are going over there, this certain demographic of people that's going over there are not looking for illegal fun, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay? Now let's move on. Continues here, uh, the crimes have become a, a pervasive, have become so pervasive that tourists aren't even safe in the shelter of their resorts, the embassy said. Violent crimes such as home invasion, armed robberies, sexual assaults, and homicides are common. Sexual assaults occur frequently, including at all-inclusive resorts, the warning stated. Okay? Local police often do not respond effectively to serious criminal incidents. When arrests are made, cases are infrequently prosecuted to a conclusive sentence. It continues. Families of U.S. citizens killed in accidents or homicides frequently wait a year or more for final death certificates to be issued by Jamaican authorities. According to the State Department, Jamaica 
has reported one of the highest homicide rates in the Western Hemisphere for several years. See, just knowing all of this stuff right here, hey, <laughs> that just details me not to go to this place. That deters me right there. No, that's okay. Just, you know, forget it. And being that the law, you know, seems to drag their feet on these particular situations that's occurring over there, well, they know what it is. A lot of times they're even in on it. Believe that, I'm going to tell you. Now, to continue here, um, it says at least 65 people were killed between January 1st and 27 of this year. Data from the Jamaican Contos Blurry for show. I can't come, excuse me, constablurry. <laughs> These weird uh, uh, phrases right here. But anyway, shockingly, the high murder rate is down for last year. 81 people were killed in the first month of 2023. At least 1,393 homicides were reported throughout all of last year, following 1,498 murders in 2022. Okay? That's a lot of killing right there. That is a heck of a whole lot of killing, you know. Just stay away from it. You know, it's, it's bad enough where you come from. Why would you go on and go over in these places right here? You know, it's bad enough where you come from. It's just not worth it as far as I'm concerned. But people do what they will, you know. Now, it continues here. It says Jamaica has not reported fewer than 1,000 murders per year since 2003. Data show. The country has a population of 2.8 million. The travel advisory marks the second the State Department has made against a Caribbean nation in days. The U.S. Embassy in Bahamas, well, in the Bahamas on Friday, put the island on a level two exercise increased caution, warning, telling Americans to keep low, keep a low profile while visiting and not to fight back if they find themselves the victim of a crime. Okay. Well, well, like I said, the, these people can't do anything to you if you don't go over into their inhabitant. You know what I mean? Where they inhabit the place, their habitation, just don't go there. You know, just, just don't go there. Because I'm telling you, they see y'all as money. That's what it boils down to, you know. In conclusion here, while not as severe as Jamaica, the Bahamas was labeled unsafe for tourists amid 18 murders, primarily motivated by gang violence in January alone. Murders have occurred at all hours, including in broad daylight on the streets. The embassy wrote in a release also recommending the use of extreme caution on the eastern side of the Bahamas, capital city, Nassau. Okay? Yeah, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't mess around in this place, man, you know, because, uh, too, these people hate Americans, you know, especially a certain demographic of Americans, you know, pretty much the ones you've seen that they was just interviewing in the news report. They don't like them. So when you go in these places like this, you know what I'm saying? They look at you as money and they're thinking about doing some bad things to you. So just stay, you know, where you at, you know, don't go over here. Stop being such a wanderer. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so nomadic. Stay your ass where you belong. You know, might save your life. That's all I got on this one, poli uh, police. Police. <laughs> That's all I got on this one, people. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it in the comment section. If you can comment, like, and share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.